Hello, this is Julie from CutterCrafter.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make some adjustments in software um, for SVG files to use in the scan and cut. And I'm going to show you how to just do some simple editing in Inkscape, make the cut, and sure cuts a lot to show you what I would do in order to change the size of large cutting files down to a size that'll fit in the scan and cut canvas. First I'm going to show you the Brothers scan and cut canvas. When I imported the original file that I want to use for this large rose, it came into the software but it came in small such as you see here. If I selected all of this, you would see that the overall size is 11.52 inches wide, and that's how the software resized the original file pieces to fit on the canvas. You see that um, the maximum width is 11.75 inches. It has to fit in between these red lines. If the file design is bigger, it will automatically shrink it down to fit. So it shrunk it to just a little larger than 11 and a half inches. Now my original file, if we look at it here and make the cut, I'll select all the pieces and you'll see that it is 17.5124 inches wide. So my petal size has shrunk so that the overall size of the flower will be quite a bit different. So instead of getting this big 7 inch rose, I would only get a 4 inch rose. So um, sometimes we need to edit files to make them work at the right size in the Brother Canvas workspace software that you see here. So we'll get started with this right now. First I'm going to look at the file in Make the Cut. When I imported the SVG file that is saved as a free download at CutterCrafter.com, it came in as separate pieces. As you see here, the boundaries for the cutting mat are these, this green area that you see here and these are the cutting files and the cutting files extend beyond the limits of the mat and that won't work in scan and cut. So what we need to do is send some of these pieces to their own layer. What I, the easy thing to do is click my mouse at the other left corner and drag it to about 11 and three quarters inches and keep it within the boundaries and release and whatever is chosen I'm going to send that to its own layer on the right side of the screen by clicking the icon that is the small plus and those pieces go to their own layer here I'll hide them so you can see but they're on their own layer. The remainder of these pieces I can select and I can move them by clicking and dragging with my mouse anywhere on the virtual mat so that they all fit and I'll check to make sure they're a good size by selecting them all and up at the top I see it's 11.29 inches wide and 10.457 inches tall so that would work. Now what I have is I have both layers hidden. I have this layer, I'll hide that one, and then I have this layer. And we could put each layer on its own page if we wanted to, but this is good enough. What I'm going to do is select all of these, go to File, Export, Selection to SVG, and I'm going to change the name of this file to large 3D rows 1 and press enter. So it exported what I selected and it's important to select it. If you don't select it, 
you'll have an empty SVG file. Now I'm going to close that layer by clicking on the eye icon and open the other layer and do the same thing. Select it all. Control A will select it all. Go to File, Export, Selection to SVG File. And on this one, I'm going to call it Large Rows 2 so that I have two different files. And now I can load either um, one of these at a time into my scan and cut software. So let's go over to Canvas. I'm going to delete what I had there. And I'm going to go to File, Import SVG, and go to my folder. And I see large 3D rows 1 and open it and you'll see that it fits. Then I can save it, save as, and it saves a working file here. So I'm going to save it also as a large rose. Let me try that again. Save as large rose one in my name. And then I'm going to get a new file here. Well, before I get a new file, I'm going to export it as SVM, FCM. That is a, a file format that my Scan and Cut can read. So large rows one, Julie Flanagan dot FCM, and I'll save that in the same place. Now I can get a new file. So I will go to new and again import SVG and I'm going to get the large 3D rows 2 and you see all the pieces pieces fit in here and again export FCM I'll look in here for large rows and I'll save it as number 2 so it's different from the original and save it. Now alternatively I could transfer the file directly to my cutter via Bluetooth um, but for right now this will work. So FCM, let's see can we save it to SVG? No, we cannot. So once we're in here into the brother Canvas workspace we'll have the option of uh, saving it in FCM file or sending it directly to the scan and cut machine. So the other software we have here is Shortcuts a lot or SCAL. When I imported the, the design, the same exact design I used in Make the Cut, everything was grouped. So I have to click it to select it, right click and ungroup. So now all the pieces are ungrouped and I can move them around. Again, my goal is to get them all to all the pieces to fit on two different mats without going over the edges. So I'll just drag around the upper corner and drag the ones that will fit and move them aside. Oh, it won't let me move them any further than that. Um, so what I want to do is move these aside and it won't let me do that either to move them very far but I can put these on a different page so I selected these and I'm going to copy them you can go to edit copy then open up a new page page 2 and paste edit paste and place so that now they come in here and I can arrange them so that they will fit on page size that I need. We don't want any of the shapes overlapping. So now we have page 2 and page 1. I can delete these that are selected here that I have on page 2. 
because they're not needed. So now what I can do is I can save the project, save the um, project as a scan and cut file, but scan and cut won't work on the machine. I mean the scalc, the scut files won't work on the can, scan and cut. So I do have to export it as an SVG. So I can save the whole project just for a backup if I need to. We we'll call it large 3D rows. And that's a SCUT4 file. Now, in order to get it to be SVG, well, I'm going to go to File, Export as SVG, and call it Large Rows 1. Maybe I'll call it A to make it different from the original. Okay, so I need to compare them. And now it asks me export options, and this is very important. For resolution from this software, we want to always select 96 dpi or the sizing will be wrong for scanning cut. So then I collect, select OK. Now I'm going to go to page 2. And before I do page two, I want to come back over here to my canvas and check that file. Import SVG and go to that 1A that I just saved. Large 3D rows 1A and open it. And it looks like it came in at the right size. It fits on the screen and it's working good. It did not do both pages. It only did one at a time, which is what we expect. So we got here's page one and here's page two. Now we're going to do the same thing. File, export, and we're going to call this 3D rows and call it 1B. and save it. Again, 96 dpi is the resolution that we want here. We didn't have to designate a resolution and make the cut because it automatically gives you the right size. So if we check this one here, we see a width of 8.74 and enter cuts a lot. On page one, let's see what the size is. We have size of 8.743, which is the same size, essentially. So we, we have um, broken this SVG file up into two parts that will work in Canvas for the Shortcuts a Lot version, and it'll work on the Scan and Cut machine. Now, the, the final option I want to show you is in Inkscape. I loaded the file into Inkscape on a 12 by 12 page. When I click it, again, it's all one group, so I'm going to right click and ungroup, just like I did in Shortcuts a lot. And again, I'm going to move away the pieces. I'm going to, um, you see they're ungrouped now because they have little boxes around them. I'm going to hold a shift key and just click the ones that don't fit on the mat to select them. And I'm just going to to get rid of them rather than worrying about how to use the software. I'm just going to hit the delete key and move this over a little bit and move everything with my arrow keys so that they fit in the middle of the page. And I'm going to go to file, save as 
large 3D rows, and I'm just going to call this 2A and save it. And then I'm going to undo Control Z and get rid of those that I just saved and put the rest on the page where we want it to be. Now we've got all the, the design parts here. Again, I'm going to save as and we're going to call this B to B and save it. 